Basically, the English Civil War, or the Puritan Revolution as it's also known, was a conflict between the King and Parliament. Parliament was divided with most of the House of Lords siding with the King and most of the Commons against the King, and the conflict was essentially along two axes, one the political axis and the other the religious one. On the political front, basically the king's supporters wanted the king to rule as he wanted to, with no restrictions. The parliament was divided into two factions. The more moderate faction wanted to come to some agreement with the king, and the more extreme faction wanted to fight to the end to kill the king. Across the religious axis, the king and his supporters wanted an Episcopalian church structure, that is a hierarchy based on archbishops and bishops uh, with the king at the top. The more moderate parliamentary faction wanted a Presbyterian church structure, which is still hierarchical, but uh, gives more grassroots power to those at the lower level. They get to vote for who's in the higher position and things like that. And the Puritans being the more extreme faction, wanted effectively no hierarchy at all. They wanted each church to govern itself, basically. Heading the more moderate faction of the Parliament was Edward Montagu, the Earl of Manchester, and heading the more extreme faction was Oliver Cromwell. At the beginning of the conflict, Montagu was calling the shots. He was the person in power. So let's take a look at the basic timeline here. The Civil War starts in 1642, and in 1644, Cromwell takes over the leadership from Montagu, so the more extreme faction comes to the fore. Then in 1645, the new model army is formed, a very powerful army fighting for the Parliament against the King. Because of the round metal helmets that they wore, they were known as roundheads, and the supporters of the king, his army, they were known as cavaliers because they mostly went on horseback, which is what the word cavalier means. The new model army was loyal to Cromwell and to the aims of the more extreme Puritan faction in Parliament that wanted to fight to the end and, if necessary, kill the king. In 1648, the more moderate faction, which wanted to come to an agreement with the king, and which basically wanted a Presbyterian church structure, was pushed out, leaving what was known as the Rump Parliament, the leftover bit of the Parliament, after most of the politicians had been kicked out. And so it was the faction of Parliament which had the more extreme view, but they were aiming to fight to the end, and they would, if necessary, kill the king. And this is the faction that remained in power. And then in 1649, Charles was indeed beheaded and Cromwell ruled England from then on until his death.